Here he comes. Great horn owl. Uh, the great horn is one of the strigidae's. It is our largest owl here in Iowa and one of our most efficient predators. The great horn owl is not horned at all. Those are feather tufts on top of its head to make it look like a mammal, I guess, um, so that it makes it look more fierce to its prey animal and to other animals that might be a threat to, to them. They have huge feet. They're very powerful bird. Uh, the horns are actually ear tufts, they call them. And these are tufts of feathers on top of the head that when they raise them up, they do look very much like a mammal. Like other owls, this owl depends on its hearing and its eyesight to find its prey. They have wonderful hearing. Their ears are offset on their heads, like all other owls. One is above the left eye and the other one is below the right eye. And uh, they triangulate to find their food and when the sound is the same in both ears, they know right where their food is, whether they can see it or not. This is a bird that's an early nester. They start mating before the end of the year. And by January, they have chosen a nest site. And by February, they have eggs in the nest and those hatch out usually sometime in February after um, uh, 30 days of incubation. The female is the one that incubates and the male, who is smaller than the female, hunts for food to feed her while she's incubating those eggs. An experienced pair of great horn owls can lay three eggs Inexperienced owls usually raise about two youngsters. They hatch every other day. So the young are at least two to three days apart in age as, as they um, mature. The young are in the nest for 30 days and then they become branchers where they're out on the branches moving around way up high in the trees uh, to stay away from ground predators and then uh, from being a brancher they fledge and start moving around by flight. Great horn owls are woodland owls. They like the edge of woodland because they particularly like crow nest and red tail hawk nest. So they quite often have a battle with red tails over the occupation of last year's nests, but they always win. Uh, they are uh, just too much of a threat to red tails. They've been shown by video camera being in fights with, with bald eagles over their nest sites. And sometimes the bald eagle does not win that, that fight and the great horn takes over the nest site. They feed on anything they can catch. <laughs> and that can be raccoons, uh, skunks are their favorite foods, along with the smaller mammals. And people who have outdoor cats quite often um, their cats are also taken for food if there's a great horn owl in the neighborhood and small dogs that have been let out at night without the protection of, of humans um, are quite often taken by great horns if great horns are in the neighborhood. So protect your cats and dogs 
They, uh, great horned owls, of course, are protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, and it's illegal to ha do any harm to them or their nest or their young. It is a predator, and so, of course, it has its job to do in keeping the balance of nature. Unlike the barred owl, the great horn does not have a lot of uh, verbalization. They are uh, a monotone, the who, 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 rarely changes. And um, the young, of course, do a screeching sound uh, to attract the adults and uh, to tell the adults that they're hungry. This particular great horn owl uh, came in from Coyote Canyon. And so there's a nest out there. It probably got in trouble um, by learning to fly and may have been hit by a vehicle. It is flying now and um, we believe its vision has been restored. It is, um, it is going to be, I believe, a female. It's a big, it's a big great horned owl. The male great horned owl is a little smaller, about the size of a barred owl. And the female is a large, powerful bird. They're great protectors of their nests and uh, they stay right close to the nest while the young are, are growing up. Great horn owl, one of our most common owls in Ireland. They have done quite well.